Good morning, day 50, five zero on the trail. Hey, I know you're probably all gonna be mad at me, but I'm here at Boots Off Hostel and they have a 21 mile Sobo slack pack from Tennessee Route 21 back to the hostel here. I know, slack packing, slackers, you know, but tell you the truth, I wanted to have a day with no weight on my foot. Uh, it was hard to ache a little bit yesterday, so <clears throat> this works out good. And uh, I don't want to give you give it away, but they also got another 21 miles from 21 north into Damascus for sc scheduled for tomorrow. I haven't decided on that one, uh, but if today goes well, I might do it. So they'll take your pack up to Damascus and drop it off at a hostel up there. So that one I got to think about. Uh, just had breakfast, waiting for the shuttle now. Uh, it's a little before 8. Shuttle comes at 8. So uh, I'm going to sign off. And uh, I'll bring you back when we get going. Or when we're there, I should say, when we start hiking. 21 miles. Ugh. I don't know. I should be all right. All right, back on trail, 20.9 mile trek back to Boots Off Hostel. We just got dropped off. It's quarter to nine. Uh, I'm expecting about an eight hour day of hiking. We'll see what happens. All right, let me get going. I got a lot of miles to cover today. A little over two miles into the hike. All feels good. Nice, not having a load on your back. Although I probably got about 12 pounds. <coughs> Four and a half of which is just my pack alone. Uh, got a few northbounders. Our Congo line of slackers is kind of spread out now. Not much interesting in the way of flowers, a bunch of may apples, yellow violets, star chickweed, a few big trees, big red oaks, cherries, and uh, yellow poplars so far. But other than that, the trail's been more or less like this up and down the hobs. We're up on the ridge, of course, heading southbound. So, it's getting point where I gotta take off my fleece, but there's a bit of a breeze that keeps it kind of cool, so I'm reluctant to do that yet. That being said, I'm gonna keep putting some northbound footprints. To my south facing side and I'll see you up the trail there's a good sized black cherry for you that'd be at least two foot in diameter saw log length easy I wouldn't there all right this is the trail enjoy it we're up on this ridge just make out farms out there. No clear views though.
Coming up to this height of land. Nice big white oak there. Two feet. Two foot red oak right there. There's a big one. I'm not sure what that is. I want to say a red oak, but it might not be. Looks like the, bur the bark is a little more deeply furrowed. I do notice nuances in the bark of some of the trees from where I live. Oh. I may be off on a couple. Like the shag bark hickories, the bark seems, a, the strips of bark seem a bit thicker. But anyway, moving on. There's a nice shag bark hickory. See, by me, it'd be shaggy almost all the way up. Here, it's just at the bigger sections. Could be local differences. <laughs> Typical shag bark hickory <coughs> casing, I think I mentioned. Well, before these around the nut, one quarter, three eighths inch thick, that shag bark. All right. Hang on a second. Sorry about that. I have my straps on on my poles. And when I have to use my phone, I forget to unstrap. The trail's been wonderful. Making good time. Again, haven't seen a whole lot of flowers, yellow, blue violets. <clears throat> I see trout lily leaves, but no flowers. So, Patch of hogweed. You can see this coming up. All right, about 14 and a half miles to go. <laughs> it's almost noon, so might be a late day. Uh, halfway. Through the day, mileage wise, a little less. And it's overlook, unfortunately, trees are in the way, but we got what looks like a lumber mill down there. And you can just see Watauga River. In the distance. Last couple miles will be right alongside the lake, I believe. So, moving on. Had a little lunch a little while ago. Well, still moving a little sluggish right now. <laughs> With a full belly and. Uh, blood going to my gut instead of my muscles but 
that's okay. I think I saw on the map at about, oh, I don't know, a thousand feet of climb and about 25, 28, 3,000 feet of uh, descent to get back to the hostel. Not a bad mix. All right, I'm going to get to hiking, and there's a perfect example of a birch seeding in on an old stump, and the stump rotting away under it. Hi, that's the Van Deventer Shelter. <laughs> uh, built in 61, but the water, from what I understand, is way down the hill. And a big climb on the way back. Oh, I'm hoping we're ready for totally descending now, but we'll see. All right, I'm going to be moving on. All right. Here's a new one for you. This is on the way down the Watauga River. So just north of the river. We're on the decline from the ridge down to... The water. I haven't been filming much. Not that there's been much to see, but I had six miles to go and three hours before the shuttle goes to town. And I wanted to make the shuttle to the grocery store. And I think I'm going to make steak, potatoes, and vegetables tonight <laughs> at the hostel. So I'm trying to make that shuttle. That being said, I'm going to get moving. All right, I'm trying to maintain a three mile an hour pace to get me there. Six miles, it's two hours. It's 3.15. The shuttle's at six. Maybe I can get a shower in. And I still got some climbing to do. I'm hoping it's not that thing up ahead. But it might be. All right. across the dam. It's not a concrete dam, it's just a, a dike. Oh, there's a lot of rock over here. Piles it up right here. There we go. Very nice. See, even at how much I love you folks, even at the risk of missing my steak shuttle. 
I found some new stuff. It might not be new. But... All right. Coming around the end of the lake, close to the highway, the roadway, that'll take us back to Utsua Apostle. So, probably about a half a mile to go. And then, uh, shower and grocery store. Which way? Probably this way. There's a highway. No. I'm going to turn you off because i got to get over. And, uh, sorry. I'm really tired. Uh, I'm going to shut down here. Bring you back when I'm at the hostel. I don't know if I'm gonna shower before I go shopping or you know, depends on how long it takes me to go this last half mile. All right. I'll see you in a bit. Hello everyone. It's 9.15. I have oh, I took some pork chop. There's some broccoli and cheese sauce for dinner. I ate too much, but it was good. We had to pack up early. Shuttle's going to take us at 8 o'clock tomorrow. Back up to Route 91, where we started our southbound slack pack. I'll have my full pack, and I'll be moving north from there toward Damascus. Probably take about two days to get there. Excuse me. It was a long day. Uh, that's about it. That's the end of day 50. And I'll see you tomorrow at day 51. For day 51. Alright, good night.